All right, guys, so this is ghetto because, you know, I really would have liked for God to give me this little download when I was done with, like, fashion and my beauty, you know, but that's just not it right now. I'm just going to be obedient and still do this word even though I just got off a 12-hour shift and you get the point. So, God is moving so much right now, like... God is just, he is moving. He is abundant in so many ways. I haven't been on here in a few weeks, honestly, because I was down like the past two weeks. I just had gotten to a place where like, I was not blameless in the Lord. I was not being fed like spiritually in the way that I really needed to be. I still had the connection, but I was still like involved in entertaining like old things, old habits, old thoughts, old situations. I was like still entertaining that. And so that was like, I don't know, you know, you just feel better whenever like you're, you're, you're blameless, whatever that looks like for you. Whenever you're blameless, you just feel good. And I hadn't felt that in a long minute. And so everything just felt like it was crashing down on me and I felt so alone and like God had forgotten about me. And then this week I'm just reminded that he ain't going nowhere except for forward, okay? I'm just going from glory to glory this week. I really felt like God did not see me. Like I was like, God, do you see me? Like, do you see what is this? Like, I, I was really having those questions and like that dialogue with God. And I just felt like that sentence was just like, what? I, last week I felt invisible. This week break, breakthroughs chase me. So I'm speaking that over you. I'm letting that overflow from my cup to your cup that breakthroughs would chase you this week. That even right now, if you're, if you're hearing this, you're watching this and you feel lonely right now or you feel like you don't, like you have heard God's plan for you you know what he said you've seen him be good but right now it doesn't feel good or you're questioning if like the end is really as good as he says it is it is like you feel like you may not know if he sees you if he understands you if he really if God understands the assignment God do you understand the assignment like I need you to and the answer is yes he does he even understands it better than you do so that was part of it and i said oh yeah that's what i wrote i said god is moving you from invisible to invincible and what i mean by that is that in the spirit realm actually earlier this morning i came and i got up here and witchcraft has been high y'all like i'm just gonna speak my truth but witchcraft has been high um as far as like binding spells anything with spiders and spider webs um the number eight oh i have that on my phone too i felt the need to pray just over my territory and i was walking back and forth and i look outside and there is someone that was walking back and forth like equivalent to where i'm walking and they were they had a demonic spirit over them. I will say that. They brought a demonic energy that I began praying against and just like pushing away. And so as I was doing that, God was reminding me of spider spells, which y'all get your knowledge up. Don't be scared on YouTube. Do not be scared. I did not know this is what this video was going to be, but let's go. So YouTube tells you what you need to know when it comes to our enemies and anything that's against us so like witchcraft that is something you're feeling that in your spirit that witchcraft is heavy there are so many spells that these witches do to keep people bound to keep them stuck to keep them from progressing forward and once you begin to speak over those things and speak against those things, they have no power over you. It might take a little bit, but 
do it like over and over and over again and you will break through the webs that's literally what is about like if you're seeing spiders if you're seeing any type of that symbolism i'm telling you for real be on high alert like younger like i guess more of my baby faith me would not have understood the depths of this but i know if you get it you get it so the number eight is something i looked up because as i was praying i felt like spiders and like the number eight and like they're just like a demonic tone to it that god was speaking to me about so i looked it up and i got too excited i didn't write it down but i do remember that it was saying that it's about swaying like the foundation or swaying let me i'm about to look it up one second okay i'm back so what it meant or what it was a representation of is inevitable punishment and that balance would be broken and foundations would be swayed that is literally what it is all about and those are exactly what i was praying against this morning was just like the spider web spells the witchcraft the i'm speaking over you today that anything that you have been stuck in anything that even the other day i was watching youtube and sarah jakes came on and she was talking about being blessed blind and broken and she was literally talking about generational consequences and how you're the person to break that off of your generation how like you're battling against these things and you have to come to heads with them because you're the one that it ends with and that's the same thing with these spells these bindings like literally oh sorry about the thumb the thumb these bindings guys like the bindings that are being put out on people's names and people's destinies is just disgusting like they are and they get away with it whenever and see whenever we don't pray against these things i even had a really demonic dream and like it took me a while to pray over it. and i'm like this is how the enemy and witches and and all of the occult and all of the dark energies and forces can move in people's lives because we do align and we do give permission and that just reminded me let me give you guys this book i'm reading boom shadow boxing this literally helped me with my first round of deliverance i started reading it and you okay i'm sorry my arm is getting tired i started reading this book and literally helped me with my first round of deliverance shadow boxing by somebody malone i got it from half price books for 6.99 but this book literally walks you through deliverance overcoming darkness that's what it talks about is the dynamic strategy to defeat the darkness within so yes um I know this has kind of been all over the place, but I'm just going where the Holy Spirit leads me because I didn't even know this is what I was going to be talking about. Yes, I just wanted to um, share this with you guys because it's literally what the Lord just dropped in my spirit. Um, and then this scripture. Psalm 106, 37. And I've read this. I'm sorry, that's not a cute angle. I've read this about three times this week. Literally, my Bible has just been like pointing me back to it. So I know it holds something. The Lord brought his people out of Egypt, loaded with silver and gold, and not one among the tribes of Israel even stumbled. Egypt was glad when they were gone, for they feared them greatly. The Lord spread a, cl a cloud above them as a covering and gave them a great fire to light the darkness. Mm-mm-mm. Mm -mm -mm. and that's literally what shadow boxing is about is to defeat the darkness within um and then and if you know anything about my mental health and like my nonprofit, it's literally one of my things that i always say is like helping people find the light at the end of their tunnel so god is giving us the light for the darkness to defeat the darkness so let's go back the lord spread a spread a cloud above them as a covering and gave them a great fire to light the darkness they asked for me and he sent them quail he satisfied their hunger with manna bread from heaven 
I hope I said that right. He split open a rock and water gushed out to form a river through the dry wasteland. Let me pause right there. because I received that. I received that. Just say, I just said I received a river through any areas of my life that are dry wasteland. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. That's so refreshing. So refreshing. Okay. And for he remembered his sacred promise to his servant Abraham. Hallelujah. So he brought his people out of Egypt with joy, his chosen ones with rejoicing. He gave his people the lands of pagan nations, and they harvested crops that others had planted. All this happened so they would follow his decrees and obey his instructions. Yeah. We are taking our lands, and we're going to take that and some. Okay, that's literally what this word says. He gave his people the lands of pagan nations. All of them witches that's praying against you, all of them people that are putting, and that's like something, I mean, I'm just going to, you're not supposed to, you know. But I just feel like the word in here talks about how when the enemy sets a trap for us, they'll fall into the trap and this word is saying that the stuff that other people have done the crops that we haven't even put the work into but that other people are done god is blessing us with those so praying release over you praying breakthrough over you i have so much exciting news to share with y'all this month and i'm just like i'm super 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 geeked about it um but i'm gonna wait because you know how being with news, you just want to like live in it first, like for real, want to live in it, want to like praise God in it and then share it. But it's up from here. And this is coming from somebody who was sad, who was having suicidal thoughts, like not like I really wanted to like do it, but like the thoughts was there. Like it was not all sunshiny. And this was like literally last week, I was crying in one of my best friend's arms. Like, I was just crying. I felt so broken last week and literally not even a full week. It hasn't even been a full week. It like, life has turned around. So I'm just praying a turnaround over you. I'm praying Psalm 105, 37 over you. I'm praying a release from any webs, any darkness, any occult, anything, any tactic sent against you. And I'm praying that you will get this shadow box, shadow boxing book and bless your life. I will see y'all in another video when I'm looking like, you know, I didn't just get off a 12 hour shift, but I love you guys so much. Be blessed. Take your joy and run. And I'm praying for you guys.